if you have hypothyroidism occurring at the same time as issues in your gut, you may not respond symptomatically to that thyroid hormone medication. Hi everyone, I'm here today with Paige and we're discussing some of the good results she's had with her health in going through the program laid out in Healthy Gut, Healthy You. Paige, thanks for being here and welcome. It's my pleasure, thank you. So I, I, I said just a moment ago before we started the recording, I'm bridling myself, I don't wanna ask any of the background, I wanna get it all fresh. So tell us about you know, what you were suffering with and, and what the road up to Healthy Gut, Healthy You kind of looked like. Sure. Um, well, I'm, I have a very fortunate story in that um, I'm, first of all, I'm a firefighter. I've been a firefighter for 16 years. And, oh, thank you. Um, and it's been a wonderful career. I have been blessed with great health and I've always been a very high energy person. Um, and the fire service has always been such a great fit for me in that respect. And um, I think something changed about three years ago where I just started to uh, need, require naps after my shifts, um, just felt like I was getting more tired for some reason. Um, I was also getting cold. I was, I've always been sort of cold, but I was <laughs> colder than normal. Everyone would always tease me. I'd be all wrapped up with all, you know, every single layer that I could at work. Um, and then also moodier and a little bit less able to retain information than I used to be, a little less sharp. And uh, a lot of it I was able to sort of rationalize and explain away with, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older or, um, he, you know, it's a sleep deprivation. I was very interested in sleep and um, always have been interested in health and I've always um, taken that as a high priority in my life and um but again all those th things i would have never gone to a doctor and said hey i'm feeling this this or that i just thought oh these are things that i just need to make some adjustments and i did and it definitely made a difference um and i'd say in addition another time marker that looking back that i say um you know there was a shift in my health was uh, we responded to the sonoma fires two years ago and got there early morning the first first day and um, were heavily involved in the structures. And, and um, I definitely noted in wildland firefighting, we don't use respiratory protection. And so there was a lot of exposure in two weeks of, you know, lots of sleep deprivation, exposure, et cetera. And I definitely felt a difference um, coming back. And again, I was sort of in denial about it, but man, I just don't feel as sharp. I don't feel as sharp. I don't know why. And I just kept thinking, I just need to sleep more. I just need to recover. And so all of that's kind of the background. Uh, the super fortunate thing that happened is this year, my department sponsored a, it's, we, we're calling it a pilot program, a health pilot program, six month program that we partnered with uh, California Center for Functional Medicine. They're heading it up and they did all the blood work for us, the initial blood work. Um, we started with a diet reset. Um, I already eat paleo, more or less paleo, um, a pretty nutrient rich diet, exercise consistently, weight's always been the same, all those things. So I thought I was gonna be very validated being part of this study. In fact, everyone was like, why are you doing this? Like that we have, you know, plenty of people that need to get their health on, you know, whatever. So, um, so the blood work came back and the nurse said, um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get all good news. And she said, um, your thyroid is way out of whack. And I'm, I, my original or initial reaction was that there's no way that test is wrong. You know, she said it was sure. maxed out. The TSH was at 140 and that's the max at the test. So wow. yeah. So she was, do you feel this way, this way, that way? And at first I was like, no, no, no. Cause it didn't really fit with my narrative. And you know, when I got off the phone, I thought about it and talked to my husband. He said, I've noticed those changes in you and like skin and some other things that again, like I said, I was just able to rationalize away. So I had that tested again, and sure enough, I was very hypothyroid, and, um, and then they tested the antibodies, and so the Hashimoto's seems to be the, the diagnosis at that point. So we were already well in, into the diet reset, which was uh, kind of Whole30, Paleo, Chris Cresser, 
diet and I felt more or less the same. And I've done the whole 30 before and which for me is like always just kind of getting sugar back on, you know, like reducing sugar. And uh, so I felt more or less the same. I started the autoimmune protocol and I felt better for about two weeks. I felt better. And then it was like, again, kind of the same. Meanwhile, I'm also taking thyroid medication. Didn't really feel much different. And then um, I happened to be listening to Chris Cresser's, um, his podcast, Interviewing You. And I really loved your approach during that interview. I was starting to think SIBO, really hoping it wasn't SIBO, but um, I had asked one of the doctors at the California Center for Functional Medicine, I'm like, hey, what if it is SIBO? Should I get tested? You know, you're starting to think that way. I was, I was being perfect with my diet. And, um, and they were like, well, you know, they kind of gave me some, some general direction. You know, you could try this, you could try that, but it wasn't definitive enough. And when I heard the interview with you, it was like the perfect timing. And I, I loved, um, I loved your approach of like, A, don't try to be perfect. B, you know, you don't stay on any of these diets forever and, um, and make sure you're still enjoying your life, your family, um, social life, all that. And so I basically got, bought your book. I, I read it ravenously and I got to step two. I started the low FODMAPS diet and that was huge. And I bought your, your supplements for the um, probiotics and the adrenal support. And within days, I was like, whoa, okay, this is, I, I felt like old me. And, you know, again, I, I probably wouldn't have even felt like there was such a big difference until you feel better. Then you're like, oh, okay, I was not feeling myself. So that's my story. Wow. So that is a fantastic story. There's so much there that exemplifies things that I found in the clinic to be important that I've written about in the book. And I, I really want to help to reach a broader audience. And one of those, again, so, such a perfect example of this is if you have hypothyroidism occurring at the same time as issues in your gut, you may not respond symptomatically to that thyroid hormone medication. And unfortunately, what happens to some patients is they get taken in this rabbit hole of trying to fine tune everything hormonally with their dose while they're missing what's going on in the gut. And that is oftentimes the cause of the symptoms. And, and what a beautiful example where you were hypothyroid, you went on medication, you weren't feeling any better. And then thankfully, as you said, you found healthy gut healthy, you tuned up your gut. And then that was a missing piece in allowing you to respond to the thyroid hormone and see that resolution of all your symptoms, which were probably part caused by thyroid, but oftentimes, again, we forget how much of the symptoms that we're suffering with are actually caused by someone's gut. So it's right. beautiful, and it wasn't hard. Low FODMAP yeah. diet, probiotics, adrenal support. Um, you know, again, you made a great point, which is sometimes when we, you know, we Google these things, we read about them, we get this narrative that is so despairing that we think, oh my God, this is going to be years to recover and I'm not going to be able to eat out and, and I'm going to have to turn into a, you know, the food police. And you know, there may be a select case that has to go to that extreme, but for most people, it's not that hard if you have the right process. So beautiful, beautiful. Um, and so now, symptoms are pretty much gone, right? You're, you're sleeping better, your energy's better, you're feeling more sharp. Are, are all those things uh, you know, fully responded? True, and um, the thing I didn't mention is I did have some intestinal symptoms um, that I, again, mm -hmm. I just thought were kind of the new normal bloating, especially at the end of the day. Um, I used to eat tons of apples and you know certain things that now I've reduced those or eliminated them for now. And um, what I found about your book that I loved is super empowering, it's self-empowering. And I love what I've learned about functional medicine. I think it's amazing to me. I'm like, oh God, you know, it's, I didn't even realize that that sect of um, medicine existed, but it does seem prohibitively expensive for most people. And, you know, I mean, I thought about that. It's like my insurance wouldn't cover that. And I love how empowering your approach was in that like and and i'm on you know step two at this point and i fully intend to go to step five you know and i've already kind of reintroduced some of the aip um you know things and and um and some of the paleo as well that i had or originally eliminated and have found great success with that so yes to all those things i've sleeping sleeping better feel sharper 
um, don't need naps again, much to the chagrin of my crew. They were really liking napping Paige because <laughs> <laughs> I was always very high energy. And, you know, they were like, I had told them, hey, you know, I just got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and then I might explain why I've been, you know, a little more tired. And they were like, this is tired, Paige. Oh, great. So anyway, they're seeing normal Paige back again. But I let them nap because it's awesome. important. <laughs> and on the note of empowerment, what an empowering situation you're now in, which is you have a, a, a diagnosis, but yeah. you are powerful and as energetic as you've ever been. And, and I think it's really important that patients understand that, that if you have the right approach, then you can feel phenomenal. And, and a diagnosis of SIBO or of Hashimoto's doesn't have to change who you are as a person. But there, there is an important caveat there, which is you need to have the right therapies to get you back to balance. And in your case, again, I'm, I'm so appreciative that you were able to find my book and not get pulled into this Hashimoto's black hole, um, you know, and you were able to get to the root cause of your symptoms. Because unfortunately, some patients will internalize that Hashimoto's diagnosis and think that means they're going to have symptoms for the rest of their life. And if you, if you get the system healed, which in your case required some medication for your thyroid, yes, but at the same time needed to heal your gut. If you get everything healed, then just like you said, you're as energetic as you were before and people yes. at the firehouse are having a hard time keeping up with you, which is <laughs> great. And there was one other thing that you said I just want to kind of touch on for people, which is sometimes there's this belief that you have to follow more restrictive diets as you're trying to get healthier. So you start with the elimination diet of, of paleo and you cut out processed foods and grains and dairy. And if that doesn't work, you go to autoimmune paleo where now you also cut out nuts and seeds and eggs and much vegetables. And if that doesn't work, perhaps you also add in low FODMAP. And it's not the case that we usually need to aggregate all these dietary restrictions together and make your plate smaller and smaller and smaller, but rather feel into one approach, as I outlined in Healthy Gut Healthy You, kind of the elimination paleo direction. And if that doesn't work, we can kind of divert over to a low FODMAP direction and we can identify where you need to restrict and where you can be liberal, which helps keep your, your food intake broad and not kind of pigeonhole you into this narrow way of eating. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely agree. Awesome. Well, what a fantastic case this is. I, again, it's a, it's a really powerful example of why it's important to make sure we have a broad view on our health and we don't get kind of tunnel vision into just thinking about, in this case, thyroid. Do you have any, any closing thoughts that you want to leave people with? No, I, I've just been telling all my friends, because now I think everything that anybody's suffering from is their gut. So, you know, I, I, I'm telling everybody, you've got to buy this book, I'm telling you. But no, that's the why I wanted to actually have this conversation with you, really just to say thank you. I think, um, again, just the empowering piece is so important um, to, to give people that um, opportunity to put that back into their hands and not feel like, again, you have to go and have all these expensive tests and that send you down all these. It's so easy to get overwhelmed, I think. Right. And I'm, I'm, I very much enjoy this process of, you know, research, and I feel very fortunate that I was given the diagnosis without, you know, I've, I've read enough stories now to see that people feel unhealthy for a very long time and can't figure out what's going on with them. And so I was very lucky in that respect. And, um, and so that's really the main thing that I wanted to say was thank you for the work you're doing. It's very important. Well, a pleasure, Paige, and it's cases like these that really make all the long days and late nights of research and writing worth it to see the impact it has on people, because I was there at one point, and I, and I remember how terrible my life was. In fact, your story sounds a lot like mine, actually, where I was very healthy, then all of a sudden there was this acute drop-off, and I, I couldn't figure out why. So I, I feel that kinship with you in that regard, and it, it is unfortunate when you can't bring your your full self to your life and then being able to get that back is just such a gift and seeing other people being able to receive that is just a tremendous honor to be a part of that so thank you for sharing again and congratulations on your newfound health thank you thank you so much